Um, tonight, being the night before Thanksgiving, is a very, very busy night um, in the world of uh, drunk driving. Um, and we take that very seriously. We would hope that our public has received the message to make sure that they are smart um, if they are out drinking tonight um, to celebrate the beginning of the holiday season. season. But at the same time, I want to make sure that they are not only smart, but they are utilizing other sources other than themselves driving if they've had too much to drink. Because we know tonight is one of the highest uh, driving under the influence of alcohol nights of the year. And Sergeant Kep, as we know, embodies the spirit of the Holiday Task Force. Not only is he the leader of such said task force, but he was also a leader amongst those that he um, was going out serving with on a daily basis by leading by example, by being out there and arresting individuals um, on our roadways who were under the influence of alcohol. We won't have the services of Sergeant Kep, unfortunately, for this holiday season. But I know after I visited with Sergeant Kep just a couple of weeks ago, he's very, very um, encouraged um, and really motivated to come back um, to serve as a police officer to do the work that he, in his, in his words, he has not finished. We all know that impaired driving is a serious threat to public safety. Uh, the consequences of impaired driving accidents can be devastating. They lead to injuries, loss of life, uh, and it takes a toll on all the families. Um, for you guys, being a law enforcement officer is not an easy job. Uh, it's gotten very difficult. It's always been a difficult job. Um, but what you guys are sacrificing is your own safety, uh, you're sacrificing time with your families, and you're sacrificing a lot of rest. Uh, what you guys are doing is choosing to work on Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday nights, all throughout this, this holiday task force season. I just want to end by saying thank you. The department appreciates you. The community members appreciate you and obviously family members of victims of impaired driving uh, appreciate you.